Hello everybody! Welcome to Something Political Stent video. After giving a brief information about the classical liberalism in our last video, it is now time to talk about one of the most prominent representatives of classical liberalism, who is also accepted as one of the founding fathers of the theory, Immanuel Kant. A German philosopher whose ideas greatly influenced the Age of Enlightenment, Immanuel Kant, has also been one of the most influential figures of the international relations theory with his ideas that basically form the basis of idealism. Like other idealists, Kant believed in the rational qualities of individuals and thought that human beings can learn from their mistakes. He also argued that cooperation and sovereignty of states should not be considered dangerous for each other because there can be a supranational entity for cooperation and states can remain to be sovereign. We can give the European Union as a contemporary example for this Kantian thought. For Kant and Kantianism, humans are able to cooperate and construct a more peaceful and harmonious society despite their self-interest. But it is only possible by having democratic governments because democracies refrain from using force against each other, establishing economic interdependence among states because economic interdependence creates incentives for maintaining peaceful relations, and having international law and international organizations as means to overcome the security dilemma of the world order because they can constrain the use of force. Kant's significance for the IR theory can be found in his democratic peace theory. Although this theory has been studied in a greater extent after the 1960s, the roots of its ideology can be easily found in Kant's essay Perpetual Peace, a Philosophical Sketch, written in 1795. According to Kant, basically, Many people normally are not interested in engaging war unless it is necessary for self-defense. Therefore, in a world consisting only of republics, meaning democracies, there will be no war, because there will be no aggressor to trigger taking measures for self-defense. Peace would be the inevitable condition of relations between democracies because mainly democracies can constrain conflict by two mates. First, by forces or norms shared by the democratic actors such as dialogue, communication, toleration, international law, respect for views and ideas, perception of war as the last resort, and of course, diplomacy. Secondly, democratic institutions also help contain conflict by producing mechanisms for making leaders politically accountable emphasizing the importance of civil society, media, and representative governments. So that brings us to the end of this very short video about Immanuel Kant. We will continue with the school of neoliberalism or neoliberal institutionalism in IR in our next video. If you liked this video, please do not forget to like it, and for our other videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.